Hello fellow artists and welcome back to another video. So today I have five tips to making your art better this year. So let's get started. So tip number one is setting a drawing routine. And what I mean by this is to dedicate a specific time of the day to draw for at least 15 minutes. So for me, I usually tend to draw in the evening around 7 p.m. and I make that a consistent thing every single day. But if I can't manage it on some days, I don't beat myself up about it. I kind of just move on and start again the next day. Say you're like me and you tend to forget things, <laughs> you can always just set a reminder on your phone so when it comes round to the time that you set yourself to draw, it will just ping <laughs> on your phone and there, then you know, so you'll get ready to draw. What also helps would be to create yourself such a relaxed environment, maybe put some essential oils in a candle so it like makes the room all like yoga-ish. <laughs> and yeah get comfy even if it's just propped up in your bed on the pillows and yeah have everything with you at the side that you are going to use and then you don't have to get up then <laughs> now the next tip on the list is prompt books now if you're feeling stuck on what to draw opening a prompt book that has objects animals and various things to draw will help kickstart your creativity so here's a look at some of the um that i'm working in at the moment i have my 301 things to draw book which is a tiktok series i will put up somewhere like a speed paint on the side or a speed drawing on the side of me using this book and then we have the 642 things to draw book which is a series on my youtube channel which i've done for a while the playlist is somewhere on my channel if you'd like to join in with that and the last book that i have is the drawfee book that came out i think a couple years ago i haven't really worked in it much but it's all right i guess i'll go to it once i've filled the other two books so yeah there's loads of them on amazon if you want to check them out many different variations and sizes so there is the 642 tiny things to draw which make which is a smaller book than the 642 larger book and tip number three is to draw in pen i know this is probably going to sound super strange but drawing in pen has improved my art tenfold it helps you avoid erasing mistakes which in turn help you draw faster it also helps with artists who are heavy-handed just like me. <laughs> I'm always snapping my pencils. It also helps take away perfectionism when drawing. So when you're drawing in your sketchbook, it's supposed to be a place where things don't have to be perfect. Say, especially if it's a study sketchbook. I know some people dedicate their sketchbooks to finished pieces, which is fine, but I always highly recommend having a sketchbook that is dedicated to learning. And as you can see here, I took some time out of my day to practice drawing eyes. I love drawing them, but I thought I'd try a little few different styles and I always make sure to add colour to them just to make them pop from the page so I can see them better. Now I got this idea from Rodgon, the artist. He is on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe. He does a lot of live videos of him teaching, which is really, really good. And he recommends drawing in pen as well because it just helps you draw better. I didn't believe it at first, but when I tried it, I was like, yeah, I find myself drawing a lot better and not even being worried about making mistakes. You'll definitely see what I mean once you've tried it for at least two weeks. Tip number four is practicing anatomy. I know that it's not everyone's favourite arty topic, but learning anatomy is so essential for creating characters and making things much easier to draw. And I can hands down say that it has improved my drawing and it's starting to click inside my head. There's lots of great anatomy teachers here on YouTube and I promise once you get into it, it's actually really fun to draw. And with hard work and dedication, you'll find it comes second nature to you. Say you have a character and you want to put them in a certain pose but have no idea how. I recommend practicing the basics and then looking up a reference on Pinterest. And as I scroll through my previous and new sketchbook, I hope it gives you some inspiration to give this a go. I recommend picking a certain topic, for example, hands, and just keep drawing them over and over and over again until it sticks, then move on to the next topic. 
I'm actually thinking of doing some more study sessions in my sketchbook but focusing on anatomy because I know a lot of you have said that it's helped you so I'm going to take what I know about it and teach you guys and of course they will be in real time because then it will be much easier to follow. And the fifth and final tip is experiment with different supplies. Now I feel like this is a very important one because it's important to try out new things and it will improve your art by expanding your knowledge of different art supplies out there. And there's loads to choose from. Say you're used to drawing in pencil and someone asks you for a commission to paint their pet. If you don't know how to use paints, you've lost out on some income because of your lack of knowledge, so that's why it's super important to expand your toolkit. An artist with a bigger belt will be more successful than one that sticks to their comfort zone. There's absolutely nothing wrong with staying with one form of medium, but I think you'll be missing out on the excitement of trying new things. Push yourself to overcome your anxieties when it comes to art supplies, and remember, you've got this, as cheesy as it sounds. Now, I can tell you that from a recent, I think it was a recent scrawler box, we got some acryl acrylic fluid or something like that and I'd never used it before and was super nervous but I just went for it and ended up really enjoying it. On screen I've showed a couple new mediums I've been using. I started out with graphite pencils when I was younger, then I moved to coloured pencils and attempted realism. Of course, I didn't master it straight away, but I kept going and you can see some of my older art if you like from my really, really early sketchbook tours. And if you don't like a certain medium after trying it, that's okay, move on to the next. Now we're coming up to the end of the video and I know it's a shorter one, but I wanted to get my tips out really quickly instead of like taking ages on each one, if you know what I mean. Just a quick video for anybody that's just really stuck or really wants to improve their art over the coming year. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment down below what you think, share with your friends or any artists out there that would find this video helpful, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time with another video. Okay, bye bye.